Changing the colors in a photo is one of the most basic features of Photoshop and something that designers, photographers, and other creatives have done for decades. But with recent changes to Photoshop, things have gotten a little bit easier thanks to improvements Adobe has made to the hue and saturation adjustment layers. Let me show you what I mean. Here we have our colorful, dynamic photo. It's really striking, but maybe it's not quite fitting into our color scheme. So of course we'll want to edit those colors in the photo. There have always been a number of ways to do this, but my go-to has always been to create a layer with the color blending mode over top of the photo, and then just paint in the areas that I wanted to change. It was very simple, but it worked. But now they've made things even easier and faster. All you have to do is create our new adjustment layer, and we'll select hue and saturation. And now when we look at our properties panel, things look very similar to how they've always looked. You can grab the hue slider and move that around and it'll alter the look for a photo. But for me, it's always felt a little bit difficult to achieve the look I wanted this way. But here's where things get interesting. If you look at this drop down up at the top, you can see it's set to default. But if we click on that and change it to prominent colors, we can see that all these color swatches have changed. Photoshop is automatically picking out the most prominent colors in our photo. So if I click on this fuchsia color, and then grab our hue slider. Now we're only changing that color. So we can edit this and make it more of a blue color. Maybe that'll fit our color scheme. Yeah, that's looking really nice. So this way we didn't have to make any selections. We didn't have to set up a new color mode layer. We just quickly picked the color that we wanted to change and changed it. Really, really cool. But sometimes it may not be quite that straightforward. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have another photograph, and again, let's go ahead and change the color of our clothing a bit. So we'll do the same thing as before. We'll go down to our adjustment layers, choose hue and saturation, then we'll flip this preset from default over to prominent colors, and there are our new color swatches again. So we'll click on this gold color, and let's go ahead and change that to a red. But here we can see we're running into a little bit of an issue. That gold color is close enough to her skin tone that when we change the color of her shirt, it's also affecting her face and hair. So how do we fix this? Down here we can see our before and after color ranges. The top bar is showing us our original colors, and then the bar below is showing how we've shifted those hue values. Now anything that's between these two brackets are the colors that we're changing completely. And then these two outside brackets show where that color change fades out. So in our case, we wanted to restrict the colors that we're changing to only the clothing and not the skin tones. So to do this, let's go ahead and start with this left inside bracket. We'll click on that and we'll drag it in just before this shirt starts to change color. So somewhere in there. And then once we find that point, we can grab the outside arrow and drag that in as well. Again, trying to make it to just before the clothing changes. And we can see her face is looking much, much better. A lot more natural of a look, and now we're only affecting her clothing. And if we want an even more natural look, we can go and play with these saturation and lightness sliders and bring those down a little bit. Yeah, that's starting to look a little bit more natural. So I think that's the look we're going for. And there you have it. Without making a single selection, we were able to change the color of our photos. Quick, easy, and without all the hassle. And now that you've mastered the hue and saturation adjustments, have you checked out the advanced select people tools within Photoshop? It works on people, it works on clothes, and I have a video right here to walk you through it.